All right, welcome back. This is video number six of the stock market videos I'm creating. My name is Larry James. My company is SpeakToLarry.com. And what I do is I teach people how to set up the foundation of their online business while assisting them with becoming more comfortable speaking about it. But since I've been able to amass a small amount of uh, income that I consider wealth, and I'm ready to diversify and invest some of that wealth, I decided that I was going to take an online stock market course. So I'm actually in the middle of that stock market course and what I'm doing for you guys is I'm sharing some videos that I'm creating uh, in an effort to help you understand or maybe decide whether or not you want to invest in the stock market, which I do recommend because um, of the amount of money that's been made throughout history when it comes to investing in the stock market. So what I want to talk about today is once you invest in the stock market, one of the things you want to do is you want to kind of keep up with current events. You want to kind of go to uh, CNN Financial or you know um, uh, Wall Street Journal and just kind of keep up with what's being said in certain places about and how about the New York Stock Exchange and the Dow Jones Industrial and uh, the S&P 500. See all those things kind of keep you uh, aware of how the market is doing and what the market is going to do because uh, news drives stocks and something else I want you to think about doing is get you a, a phone app with either uh, Acorn or Stash or Robinhood. Those are uh, stock apps that you can download to your phone and you can keep up with and track the stocks that you buy on that. Very, very simple and uh, I definitely recommend that. Uh, something else is uh, you tend to attract the things that you talk about. So start to talk about money to people. Start to let people know that there's other ways of generating profit than just saving money or just working for money, you know, and once, just imagine this, once you're able to have your money work for you, instead of you working for your money, then you can imagine the growth that you can receive because you are a human being. You have to give rest. You can't work 24-7. And you can't multiply the way money can multiply. So uh, you want to think about learning how this, this game is played as soon as possible because it is a game and it's played all the time. So you might as well get in and become part of it. Now let's talk about the market for a second. You heard the term bull market, right? Well, a bull market means the market is up. Bull up, right? A bear market means the market is going down. That's how it fluctuates, up and down, right? So bull is up. Bear is down. <clears throat> and the rule of stocks, just like the rule of life, is you want to buy low and sell high. That's the concept. Don't ever forget that one. Buy low and sell high. And you don't have to buy before you sell in the stock market. There is ways you can, uh, options is one of the ways you can uh, put an option on the stock before you even buy it. And you don't have to own something that you're selling. You can actually, uh, again, put an option on something that you would buy if um, the situation got like it needed to be or if the situation became beneficial for you to buy. But if it didn't, you would just let the, um, the, op the option expire. It's done all the time. But most options are bought by other people by other people, not by people who are looking to buy shares. Like pe if people who buy options buy other options. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, possession of an asset can be as valuable as to the to the ownership of the asset as you're able to make money from that asset. So, what am I saying there? I'm saying that if you have an understanding of how a wholesale process works. <clears throat> if you're going to buy a house and you can buy that house for a hundred thousand dollars but you don't have a hundred thousand dollars but you know someone who's interested in buying that house but the house is uh, the market value of that house is say a hundred and seventy five thousand. You would put that 
property under contract and sell the contract. That's what an option looks like, right? So you would um, have a contract with the seller to buy the property, and then you would create a contract with the buyer to sell the property. So you would be like the middleman, and you would be a fee in that process. You would get paid once the, the buyer actually bought the property, right? That's how that would work. Now, <clears throat> possession of an asset matters a great deal when it comes to getting wealth from that asset. So you want to own as much as you can. You want to think in terms of ownership for yourself. Well, how much stock do you own? How much? How, how diversified in your, is your stock portfolio, right? Do you own any real estate? Do you have a small business? You know, uh, do you have a corporation? Do you have an LLC? See, all those are important to think about when you're talking about growing wealth. Now, there's a term in stocks called chickens, and chickens are afraid to make a move. So it kind of goes, like I say, in line with life. When you think of someone who's afraid or who's a chicken, what they call we call a chicken, they don't want to do anything. They just they want to stand to the back and just watch everything take place, right? There's another one called a pig. Now, a pig, those are the people who take too many risks. They, you know, have a tendency to all or nothing mindset. They'll, you know, invest a hundred dollars and not know anything about how they're going to make that, make money for that hundred dollars, or whether or not they, what their odds are of winning. All right? You want to always kind of have an understanding of where you stand when it comes to putting your money in a certain place. Now, you probably heard of the term ETF. ETFs are exchange traded funds. They are marketable securities that trade just like a stock, but follow along with an index. They can track uh, a commodity, a bond, and an index file. Now, stocks, bonds, gold, foreign currency, all those are can be ETFs. And ETFs uh, move just like stocks and are more liquid. And they also have a lower fee to purchase than mutual funds. Now, mutual funds are like, if you can imagine, uh, having a pot full of soup, right, with all different vegetables and whatnot, right? When you invest into a mutual fund, it's like you uh, buying a share of a mutual fund. They diversify already. So when you buy a, share, a mutual fund, when you invest into a mutual fund, think about putting a ladle into the soup and lifting it up. And you're going to already have a variety of different um, things or ingredients in that soup, right, in that ladle. So that's your share of stock. But you already are diversified because you may have carrots, potatoes, Da, da 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 right? Simple concept. And when I learned that, I was like, wow, this is going to be easy to explain to my viewing audience. I'm, I'm not a genius or nothing. I know that you may think I am, but I'm not. <laughs> Just kidding. Then anyway, let me tell you the advantages of ETF. Uh, you have instant diversification. The next one is there are no minimum deposits required, as with mutual funds. Many mutual funds have a minimum deposit required and the transaction costs are lower so you, you might want to really consider ETFs I, I'm definitely going to invest in some ETFs and uh, a couple of the more popular ETFs are uh, spider it's called spider the ticker symbol is SPDR and what they do is they track the S&P 500 another one is QQQ and they track the NASDAQ 100 you have sector ETFs, and they track various sectors of the economy, such as oil companies, tech companies, and small cap companies. And you also have commodities ETF, and they track commodities, gold, silver, and on and on, right? Now, I know this is some information that you are getting that many of you didn't know, because I know I didn't know, and many of you knew, but if you knew, then don't don't say too much. Just let people like us just kind of get it and you know think we're ahead of the game now, right? But keep watching because I'm gonna keep sharing. Speaker Larry, dot com.